Howdy, my fitness friends. Thank you for joining me today. And good for you choosing to go down on the floor. It just shows a great level of fitness if you can get up and down from the floor. If you're having difficulty, we have another video here where you can practice on the end of your bed getting up and down from the floor. I was making sure to go down to the floor every other day, but I was just reading we should be doing it every day to maintain the strength to get up and down. So I'm glad you're going to join me today for weights on the floor. You will need your weights, I would say one to two pounds, three at the most, and a good solid surface with a mat to cushion it, or you could do these on your bed, but I'd prefer on the floor, especially the core one. You might need to skip that if the bed is not strong enough to support you. Anyways, let's get strong and get started. We're just going to do a quick warm up. Hopefully you've taken your walk or done a little aerobic exercise so that you are nice and warmed up. But let's just take and cross one hand on top and to wake up our brain, cross the other one on top. Warming up our shoulders, warming up our chest. Nicely done, stay there and just do a little circle to kind of warm up that core. And go the other way. Nice, just do some reaches across, warming up the deltoids. And then over the top. Good, just stretch those toes forward and then pull them back. Saying hello to the calves and the hamstrings and the shins. Point them forward, pull them back. Just do a little hip walk forward to warm up the hips a little. And take it back. Do that once more. And take it back. Very good. We're gonna start off. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me well. And we're going to dig our heels in where they're comfortable. I want you to tighten your core, grab your weight, hands are at your side, and gently do a little pitch back. We're going to strengthen that core. So I want you to lift your arms up shoulder level and down. Shoulder level and down. Remember to keep your core tight, but don't hold your breath. And lift them up, working a little biceps. I feel it in my shoulder and deltoids. And down. You should start to feel this in your core, but remember to keep it strong. Good, give me two more. And one more. Ah, oh, come up. I want you to point those feet and flex them up as high as you can, getting those heels off the mat. We're just gonna do some biceps across. And what I like about this, we're stretching out our hamstrings and our calves and working our arms. You go at your own pace. If anything causes pain, you stop and take a break. Good, now we're gonna repeat that pointing our toes. So we're stretching our shins, tops of our legs, and take it across. Catching that bicep at a different angle. You're looking good today. And I'm glad you're choosing to stay strong. Get 
give me four more. Three more. Two more. And last one. Good. Bring these heels back in. We're going to return to this position. Remember to tighten that core because we're going to add on and do some bicep curls coming up and then take it back. This one I want you to be especially aware that if you feel any pain in your lower back, that's telling you, okay, that's enough. But we're strengthening that core at the same time we're doing bicep curls. And on my core, I'm keeping it tight as if I had a girdle on. And I'm strengthening that core, strengthening that back. And give me one more. Excellent. Good. Ooh. Shake out those legs. And we're going to go on our side. I want you to bend your knees in front of you where they're comfortable. And we're going to start up on the shoulder simply because that takes on weight and strengthens that. We are going to just set, let's set both our weights on, but if that becomes too much, then just do one weight or no weights. But we're just going to lift that leg up and down and up and notice I'm above the knee. We're going to add in. We're going to bring it up, stretch it out, and pull it in. We're strengthening those hips. And I feel it on the side of my leg where the abductor is. And up, and out. One more, because we're going to do something a little different here. Good. I want you to take your knees and pull them back just a little bit. So we're elongating the muscles and going to work them a little harder. And I want you to go down for this one and relax your shoulder. You're going to bring it up just as we did before. Four times, just the knee up, strengthening that hip. I feel that. Let's take that leg away from us, pull it in, and set it down. And up, out, in. Two more. One more. This is a great strengthener for the lower body. Of course, we gotta do the other side. So just roll over or switch around to the other side. Remember, we're starting up on the shoulder to strengthen it. Knees are comfortably in front. Take both of your weights and set them on that leg. And we're gonna simply lift it, trying to keep it as level as possible. Stay with me. Looks like you got it. Now we're going to stretch it away and bring it in and set it down. And up and lengthen it out and in. This also is great for the knee, getting some flexibility in that knee. And one more. Good. Now, as we did before, we're going to pull these knees back just a little bit to challenge ourselves and go down on our arm and repeat all of that. Lift it up. And again, we don't work in pain. So if it starts to bother you, give yourself a little break. Now we're going to lift it up. Take it away from us and bring it in and set it down. And up, 
take it away and in and set it down and up give me one more very good oh we're gonna roll to our back and I want you to just take your weights to the side and dig those heels in and do a bridge up and squeeze those glutes and bring them down bring your feet in just a little closer and repeat that and squeeze it up let's add in a little weight arms are going to be to the side and when we squeeze up make sure that you bring them overhead together what I was going to say is make sure they're not higher than your shoulders. We're working. Oh, some extra weight on those hips as we do the pelvic tuck lift. Bridging up. And we're working the chest when we open these arms out. And squeeze. And don't do it too fast. We don't want momentum. We want strength. Now this one's going to stay up. Push that bridge up and we're going to do some skull crushers. While we keep our bridge up, elbows to the ceiling. So we're getting some tricep under the arm work. Make sure the elbows are not coming in. They're staying toward the ceiling. And you're tightening that bridge. Oh, my arms are starting to shake, so I can feel myself working. Give me two more. And one more. And up. Oh, lower them down and lower that bridge. Just for a little break, take your knees gently from side to side, engaging your core to protect your spine. That feels good anytime. Good, we're going to do palms down, and we're going to lift one arm overhead, palm up. And then we're going to do the other arm, but bring this all the way down and then lift the other one overhead. And bring it all the way down and lift that. Now, if you're having shoulder problems, remember, go to the height that works for you. If this is all as you can do, that's fine. Sometimes we're having stiff shoulders and we can't get it all the way down over our head. In fact, earlier today, I wouldn't have been able to. I had to loosen up a little bit, do a little bit of aerobics. Final one. Ah, great. We're going to set those weights to the side and work our core a little bit. Give those arms a rest. What I want you to do is put your hand on your transverse muscle and I want you to bring your knee in and squeeze a little crunch there. Then I want you to stretch your leg overhead and relax that a little bit. Slowly slide your leg down, now tightening the core up again. Release it and bring it in. We're going to alternate legs this time. We're going to tighten that transverse muscle. Relax it a little bit. And tighten it as we slide a quarter down the wall. And tighten our abs. And release. Remember, your leg weighs, oh, five to seven plus pounds. So you are also strengthening your hips by doing this exercise and your core. 
So a little crunch in and stretch it up and tighten those abs and bring it in and relax and in and relax your abs a little tighten them getting a strong core and relax final one in and up and bring it down nicely done we're going to roll over on our side and go to all fours. And we're going to be hands and knees. Now, if this is more comfortable for you, that'll work as well. But grab your weight, and I want you to just do some tricep extensions. So you're stretching it back and bringing it to your hip. And back. And in and back now again if you want to be down here that will work as well just try to keep your head not down not arched but in clean alignment but wherever you feel good doing this Give me two more. Final one. Good. Before we do the other side, let's just sit back in a little stretch of our back. Child's pose. Let's pick up the other weight. And we're doing our hip and stretching it back. And back. And again, if it's easier for you to be down, that'll work as well. You can see my shoulders are a little tight this morning. They don't want to push me all the way up. And we all have those days. Give me two more. Final one. Very good. Oh, set that weight down. Let's come up and hands on our hips. Just a little stretch back till you feel strength working in those quads and come up. Stretch your arms forward, no weights this time. And come down and up. Good. We're going to separate our knees this time and bring our feet together and just stretch into that child's pose. I want you to go to the corner and put your right hand on top and stretch those deltoids. Change and put the left hand on top. and come up very well it doesn't take too much to work on some strength in fact i was reading this week sometimes we can overdo it and then we really actually go backwards if we overdo weightlifting. so a couple times a week 10 to 20 minutes three at the most times a week let's stretch out a little take this arm across and I want you to wiggle those fingers as you look away. And then take this arm across. We're stretching those deltoids. Wiggle those fingers and look away. Touch the back of your neck. And I want you to walk those fingers down and pull that elbow up to stretch out the tricep. Drain the lymph nodes. And the other side, touch your neck, take a little walk down, pull that elbow up, thumbs up, we're going to stretch those biceps, 
and pull them back. Oh, give a nice little squeeze to those shoulders. Thumbs down and repeat that. Ah, deep breath. Exhale and let your head drop to the right. And up, breathe. And let your head drop to the left. Thumbs up, guys, for doing some strength training today, keeping those muscles strong. Have yourself a great day, and thanks for joining me.